Hello and welcome to another video. Today I have this EC110 drone. This has a drone with a gimbal for the 4K camera. Uh, it's adjustable as far as up and down. Uh, brushless motor, so it should have pretty good battery life. Um, all right, on the back, not a lot of information, just uh, little warnings. Um, like I said, 4K camera, 20 minutes of flight time with single charge on the battery. It's a wide angle lens, 110 degrees, has 5G transmission, so you have a good connection with your uh, phone at all times, remote control. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. It comes with this really nice carrying case, actually. I'm, uh, I'm happy with how it comes with the carrying case because I'm uh, always uh, curious how I'm gonna carry it around when I buy a drone when it doesn't come with the carrying case. Actually, it comes pre-packaged in the carrying case, so this is how it comes. The remote control already has the joysticks installed. You can peel off the sticker off the top here. Okay, so this is uh, where the phone will go. There you go. The remote control is pretty lightweight, but still feels sturdy. It had, did have a little clicking on the top uh, in the initially, but as you can see, I don't feel the clicking anymore. Uh, the joysticks actually remain in place. You can take them off to change them if you want. Uh, ones with grips. Uh, I know some professional drone operators like ones with grips, but I don't see a spot for them to be parked once you remove them. So I think the point is to keep them in place. In the back here, there's a battery compartment. So it does, the remote control does take three AAA batteries, looks like. All right. This is the accessories box. This includes screwdrivers with uh, extra clips. Um, it says more propellers in case you um, crash yours and break your propellers and there's more clips to mount the extra propellers. All right, put that to the side. There is a charging, it's a proprietary charging mechanism seems like it's not a uh, USB-A or USB, uh, or micro USB or USB-C. It seems like a proprietary connector charger for the battery. The drone itself feels really lightweight. As you can see, there's a little antenna for the 5G. Uh, the camera, it sits in a little bit of a gimbal, so you can see how it's gonna uh, reduce the amount of uh, shaking. There is a little optical sensor on the bottom to detect the ground. And then this is the battery, also feels pretty lightweight. The uh, drone itself um, feels, let's see, let's go ahead and connect this and see how it, how heavy it feels. Have to install, you push in and then slide forward. Uh, with the battery, it still feels lighter than my uh, Mavic Mini. I have the original Mavic Mini, so it's lighter than that. Uh, 20 minutes of flight time, so it's not bad. Um, the propellers just go ahead and swing out like that. Uh, there's a power button on top, on the bottom. I'm not seeing any battery indicators or anything like that. Let's go ahead and pull the battery out to see how it connects to the charger. So as far as connecting into the charger, this is how it goes in. So there are uh, two dots here, two holes here, and the charger has these two holes that need to um, connect in place right there. And it's a USB-A connector on the other end. Okay, while the battery's charging, let's go ahead and look through the case. The case does have a zipper compartment here to uh, put whatever you want. And this is where the um, actual drone will go and this is where the remote control will go. This is where the accessories kit was, but I think if you have a separate bat second battery, you can mount, uh, put that over there. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, put some AAA batteries in here and uh, we'll look through the uh, app installation process while the battery is charging. This can actually be used as a handle and if you're using that as a handle, then you get really good handle on your device and so it's secure and it's not gonna fall. Kind of like on a joystick where you have like a PlayStation 5 controller where you have the handle thing coming out. So this is essentially just a handle, not a phone mount. And that makes sense because there's no grippy part to the inside. The phone mount is right here. As far as the remote control itself, you have the video record button, the snapshot button, the speed control over here. And on the right is the camera up and down control. So the camera does have 90 degrees of mobility up and down. Um, this is the speed uh, as far as the um, drone. And then you have the headless mode. So you can actually press this button to 
uh, get on headless mode so you can move the drone whatever direction without having to worry about which size the head which size the tail uh, auto rotation and then uh, if you long press it it'll make a circle around you okay this is the qr code for the app so i'm going to go ahead and install that i only charge the battery for about five minutes because i want to get going with this video but presumably it came pretty well charged from the factory i have the app here let's go ahead and uh, go to the instructions and set up the um, device for the first time here you go you can see the camera I'm gonna move the drone around and I can see the live footage through the camera it's actually pretty decent quality just right off the bat because I am in a fairly dark room as, except for where my phone is so let's go ahead and take it outside and see how it works um, as far as the app I can see the I can record um, take photos okay now that the phone is on and the Phone is connected to the drone. Let's go ahead and turn on the remote. You just long press to turn on the remote. Um, so this back one, as I move it, as you can see the camera angle is moving. So it seems like it's not a fluid movement. It's a um, um, slight sort of, it's sort of like a fixed, fixed location that's moving to. It's not a smooth movement. All right, let's go outside and fly this drone. All right, let's fly it for the first time. I'm gonna press this button. All right, you can see the propellers turning. Flies pretty well. Only thing is, I'm not seeing the battery percentage on the actual screen, so let's see. And I do see the, um, the drone drifting a little bit i mean right now it's sitting pretty steady let's see how well it does just sitting there we're gonna press this button and you can see it just do like uh flips like that you can press that turn it off all right and you can press on Hold here. And you press it again. So it was doing the circles and I crashed it. It's just fine. It hit the siding. Seems like all the propellers are fine. So we're gonna take off one more time. I do see a little bit of drift. All right, just holding steady there. We're gonna go ahead and start recording. Press this and um, press on the left side and it video records. We're gonna start recording and go high. Let's turn the camera down. I haven't placed a micro SD in there, so I'm not sure what quality recording we're gonna get, but coming down. You can see the video is uh, not the most stable. I am seeing a lot of drift. They say that you can just press and hold the record button to hold the drift. And actually it did make a difference. It stopped drifting. And then you can also do that with press, press and hold the uh, photo button. So it seems like uh, it's holding pretty steady. There is a little bit of wind today. It doesn't give you uh, distance information as far as how far you're flying. I'm 
seeing it fly away from me. When I lost it, it went quite far actually, um, but I was able to get it back. When you press land, it just goes down wherever it is and then uh, doesn't turn off until you, um, actually it did turn off by itself, uh, but it just kind of lands wherever it is. So I'm going to turn it on and then take off here. As far as quality, I'm standing here, let's see. On the uh, camera itself, it looks really good. I'm happy with the quality of the camera, too, but it doesn't have a uh, gimbal uh, that's any good. So the camera quality will be a little jerky. That being said, I'm still happy with how good it looks just on my screen. So, and you can always use it as a leaf player. Let's see how it does. Oh, <laughs> went and crashed it again. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any questions in the comment section below, otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.